Hello children. In the previous video, we learned to estimate the area of shapes. In this video, we will learn more about it through some interesting examples. Chanda was returning home from her shop. Just then, she saw a shiny paper under a tree. A diamond's outline is drawn on this paper. Find its area. Chanda read the instructions written on the paper. Chanda got excited. This diamond's outline is made of two equal parts, thought Chanda. Chanda then drew a vertical line like this inside the outline of the diamond. Because this diamond is made of these two equal parts, if I were to find only the area of this part of the diamond, then I would have to multiply the area of this part by 2 to find the area of the entire diamond, thought Chanda. Then Chanda made such rectangles and triangles in this part of the diamond's outline. This large triangle is half of this square. And the area of this square is 6 times 6 or 36 square centimeters. So, the area of this big triangle is half of 36 or 18 square centimeters. This small triangle is half of this square. The area of the square is 2 times 2 or 4 square centimeters. So, the area of this small triangle is half of 4 or 2 square centimeters. And finally, the area of this rectangle is 4 times 2 or 8 square centimeters. By adding the area of all these shapes, I will get the area of this part of the diamond. The area of this part of the diamond is 28 square centimeters. Chanda quickly found the area of this part of the diamond. Now, because the diamond is made of these two equal parts, she multiplied the area of this part of the diamond. 28 by 2. Okay, the area of this diamond is 28 into 2, 56 square centimeters. Chanda immediately wrote the area of the diamond as 56 square centimeters on that paper. As soon as Chanda wrote the area of the diamond on that paper, a diamond of 56 square centimeters appeared in front of her. Chanda could not believe her eyes. Now, this new puzzle appeared on paper. A uniquely shaped diamond's outline is drawn here. Find the area of this diamond and you will discover a unique treasure. Chanda read the message written on the paper. Chanda started looking for the answer to this puzzle. Children, can you also find the answer to this puzzle by using the concept of symmetry that Chanda has adopted? If you wish to, you may stop the video and find the answer. We can divide this diamond's outline in equal parts like this. And then this part of the diamond can be divided into these triangles and rectangles. Now, all we have to do is find the area of these triangles and rectangles. We can add the area of these shapes and find the area of this part of the diamond as 90 square centimeters. And then, we will multiply 90 by 2 to find the area of the entire diamond. In this way, 
the area of this diamond is 180 square centimeters. Chanda too, like you, found the answer to this puzzle and wrote the area of the diamond as 180 square centimeters. This time, as soon as Chanda wrote this answer on that paper, the paper disappeared and fruits began to shower from the sky. Chanda became very happy. She gathered some fruits and then took her diamond and happily walked towards her house. Children, in this video we learned more about estimating the area of shapes through some interesting examples. In the next video, we will see some fun concepts related to this.